Do you have what it takes to invest in low-income real estate? I know there's a lot of people out there telling you guys how great it is, but do they give you guys the real picture? This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. What's going on, folks? You're watching Holton Wise TV. The specific show you're watching is the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. The man behind the camera is Steve Wise. Holla at your boy, Steve. Yo. What up, Steve? Natalie, not Steve behind the camera. Steve, husband of Natalie, out of country real estate investors, right? You guys. Jet setting across the world, teaching kids uh, English as a second language. But uh, you guys, you live many places, but what you and do is you invest in one place, and that's Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, you guys love the low-income multifamily stuff. This is the 10th video I've done for you guys, so I've got a pretty good gauge of what you guys are interested in. And I looked at this property for another investor, and... Uh, I was very candid about this with this guy. This was his first look into like a low income property. So I felt it was very important to like really give him a look at what it's really, really like to run one of these low income properties. Because I know people like they see the price to rent ratios and they're like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Oh, my God. But like sometimes people get blinded uh, by the prices and, and other people that are selling this stuff, you know, I think in this industry, right, there's a, a big uh, drop off of people being like totally forthcoming uh, with what it's really like to invest in low income real estate. And <laughs> that ain't what we do, baby. You guys know that. Uh, so in a second, we're going to show you that footage. But first, I want to let everybody else besides Steve and Natalie know another show you should watch on Holton Wise TV is the Tenants from Hell show, right? We show you the worst of the worst. And if you could stomach that, then you're ready for low-income investing. So check that out first. Steve and Natalie, I want you guys to see my financial analysis of this five-unit apartment building in Cleveland. You need somebody to give you an unbiased take on this. And you can't see this photo that I want you to see uh, in the listing agreement, but I was looking at this property on Google Earth, and uh, what you see in the listing looks all pretty good, right? Uh, but... The Google Earth photo is just, in my opinion, incredibly important. So let me let me show you that real quick, bro. Let me let me get this to you because I think this is like the crux of the investment. Like people ask me, like, "Yo, is this a good deal? Is this a bad deal?" And like, dude, there's no such thing as like good or bad. It's like you gotta understand what you're buying, right? Like, it's, it could be good, could be bad. Now, <clears throat> here's the deal, bro. This is your house, right? This is a big old boy, right? You sent this to me, right? Five-unit apartment building. It's a big daddy. This is right next to it, okay? This is where your tenants have to drive to park. Now, do I think you can make money on this deal? Yes. Do I like this neighborhood for investing? Yes. Do I have the biggest fucking real estate portfolio in this fucking neighborhood? Yes. Do I have fucking eyeballs? Yes. Can my eyeballs see that this is not what I would consider nice? Yeah, I think anybody can, right? So you have to understand what you're buying. What you're buying is a low-income cash flow producing asset. Now, the address, 3136 West 50th, Cleveland, 44102, right? There's always good and bad with real estate. For every pro, there's a con, right? So we have a rough neighborhood, clearly. But what you get is you get a price-to-rent ratio uh, that's going to be, you know, much different than what you'd get in nicer areas, right? They have listed it at 189.9, at and I think that's too high given the condition of the building, condition of the neighborhood, right? I think, Lewis, this deal – or I'm sorry, I think Simon. Sorry, brother. I just did a video for a guy named Lewis earlier. Simon, I think this uh, deal would make sense for you at 175 k because 
despite its negatives. Dude, it's kicking off money, bro, right? We got 650, 900, 600, 775, and 480 coming in. 3385 So the thing is bringing in freaking $40,620 a year. Of the 40620 I think you're going to spend about half of that under normal operating circumstances, right? You're going to be spending an average of $6,000 on CapEx, repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non-payment, right? Back to the uh, Google shot, right? Look, it's D-grade neighborhood, dude. D-grade. It's my favorite D-grade neighborhood in Cleveland because there's a little place called Metro Health, large healthcare company. They're investing a billion dollars into this neighborhood, right? They're going to invest into low-income housing, right? Uh, but currently, right now, so I think there's you know some good speculation to this neighborhood, but right now, dude, this is still a reality of what we're dealing with, right? You know, in case anybody out there is watching my show and they don't really understand how this game works, like, if I'm a prospective tenant, and this is how I got to get into this home, this is what I see, you could bet your ass that I am probably a higher risk, lower income tenant, right? There's not a lot of people that have bachelor's degrees from four-year universities that are living in these apartments. You guys have to understand that. Like when you're dealing with this socioeconomic class, you're going to get people that are on government subsidies, uh, that are one missed paycheck away from eviction, that are one flat tire away from losing their job, things of that nature. So when you invest in these neighborhoods, we can make a lot of cash, but you got to know there's going to be issues. That's why, of course, we want you to hold back, right? You get the money, right? You get that 6 k a year, right? That comes to you when things are rolling good, but I want you to know that 6 k that comes into you uh, that's fool's gold, right? Because you're going to need to save that for repairs and maintenance, right? When these people move out, they don't leave the units in the best condition, right? Vacancy and not payment. If you think you could buy a five-unit apartment building that looks like that and you're not going to evict people, you're out of your mind because you will. And then, of course, capital expenditures, right? The listing agent, you know, they work for the sellers. They said it's mostly turnkey, but look, dude, it's an old building. I could tell you just looking at the thing, dude, you're not going to, like, find, like, everything super-duper brand new in there. Like, yeah, it, it, it looked pretty good from the photos, right? And, like, in the basement, things were, like, not super-duper old, but this isn't, like, brand new, man. This is probably around 10 years old, maybe in, the like, the 5 to 7 range, right? But these last 15 years, every 15 years, you got to drop a G. Every 30 years, you got to drop three Gs, right? So don't expect uh, to come out of your inspection report where the inspector tells you, oh, man, this is, like, the greatest property ever. No, you you guys get these inspection reports, and some of you guys, like, freak out. Like, dude, it's a 100-year-old building in a low-grade neighborhood, right? And you guys sometimes, like, I've even had investors where they get, like, a a 90-page inspection report because you bet your ass on a building this big and this old. It's going to be like 90 pages. And they're like, oh, man, I got the inspection report. Uh, how much does it cost to fix it? Fix what? It's fucking 90 pages, motherfucker. What do, what do you mean fix? Fix what? To what standard, right? Like, to, are you asking me to fix it to the standard of a fucking McMansion built in 2021 uh, where, where, you know, just a bunch of fucking people living on the cul-de-sac driving their goddamn fucking Hyundai's. Like, what what are we talking about here? This is a hundred-year-old low-income property. So that, that inspection report, brother, it's going to look rough, right? Uh, we need to fix it up to a level that allows it to meet local, state, and federal housing codes, right? Building codes, right? Can't get no building code violations. That's number one. Number two, we need to get it to a level that allows us to put government subsidized tenants in there, right? Because that is the key to these types of investing, man. Your tenant base is difficult. Your tenant base is tough. Your tenant base is very close to not being able to pay you rent. You need to get that government subsidized rent to survive in these type of neighborhoods. So... Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> Simon, if you can get down with government subsidized rent and know that you're probably going to have some riffraff happening, and of course, uh, we're going to make shows on it. We're definitely going to put that on the Tennis from Hell show. These are the types of properties that uh, give us content for that show. I think it could be a money maker because I believe at $175,000, uh, 
with my projected numbers, it should be a 12.3 cap. And, of course, if you want to finance it, commercial financing much different than residential. It's not simple where it's just like, yo, 30-year loan, 25% down. It's going to vary your down payment. Oftentimes, uh, commercial lenders, they want to see historical data. And I'm going to tell you this, right? My favorite type of multifamily property in regards to financing is a four unit because it's the biggest building you can get residential financing. This is a five unit. So it's the smallest building that commercial lenders are going to underwrite. So it's going to be the most difficult to underwrite. And oftentimes your sellers are not going to be super sophisticated sellers with all this data that you might want or expect. So uh, as far as your financing goes, I would imagine you're going to have a tough time picking this up on financing for anything less than a down payment of like 40 to 50, maybe 60% if you can get it financed because I think it's going to be an uphill battle uh, to pick to pick up uh, the necessary documents that an underwriter is going to want because remember, it's an uphill battle. You just got to understand when you're talking to that lender, their underwriting department really doesn't want 100-year-old five-unit building. All right, Steve and Natalie. Let me know if you guys want to make a move on this thing. I felt like based upon uh, other properties you guys have been interested in and what you guys are trying to do, I felt like you guys would be the right investors for this. If not, totally cool. The last guy, he was like, oh, dude, you know what? Nah, this ain't it. Not my business, dog. He's like, <laughs> after he saw that video, he's immediately like, let's check out B class, <laughs> right? But I know you guys like this low income stuff, and I love the low income stuff, man. Like, you, you get these tenants on uh, government subsidies, man, and, and you just understand that there's going to be problems. Like, I think the returns outweigh uh, the risks and the, and the fear. Uh, but hey, that's what this show is all about, right? It's about finding the right property for the right investor at the right time, at the right price, with the right financing, right? Every pot has its lid. So what works for you might not work for the next guy. And that's why people send emails to my team, sales at holtonwise.com, and they give us their phone number. And my team, we call you and we talk to you about what works for you specifically. And then we make customized shows like this for you. So Steve and Natalie, let me know what the move is. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.